Hi, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Meet the babies of Fabric Cafe. This is Evie. Evie. Evie is the oldest of the twins. Eli is her brother, just a couple of minutes behind, I believe. And they are two months older than Yuna. Now, Eli is getting pretty excited here. So they're two months older than Yuna. Eli and Evie belong to Jessica. Jessica is our inventory control manager. And then Yuna is my great-granddaughter. And John, behind the camera, is her granddad. And Rachel is her mama. So now join us and we're gonna get their opinion of all of these great quilts. Hi, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Today I'm gonna to do a little nostalgia. Do you remember what was the impetus for you starting to quilt? Well, I remember in 1988, my daughter said, Mom, you're going to be a grandmother. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I'm going to make a quilt. I had never made a quilt, but I was going to make a quilt. So now you know I started quilting in 1988. Now, I did not have a three-yard quilt pattern to follow. I just kind of made it up. So see, my very first quilts were also uh, done with... Um, uh, from off the top of my head. I'm going to share with you these two quilts because I have, uh, my, my daughter has saved them and I called her the other day and said, would you ship me those quilts? So I'm going to share them with you. A few things that I want to point out is don't be afraid to start quilting. Your first one will be the worst one you ever do. So if you look up here real close, I did piece all of my quilt on the sewing machine, but I actually hand quilted. You can probably see the hand quilting right here a little better. So I used a, um, I did hand quilting. It's not the best job in the whole world. You can even see how I sewed the, the binding on. But I actually did a little nine patch. Let me hold this up. And I sashed it. And I'm always telling you not to be afraid of stripes. Well, look at this. I actually uh, used stripes on my very first quilt. I didn't know you were supposed to be afraid of them, so I just did them. So this is my very first quilt ever. And I was hand quilting and I had a friend that was teaching me and I called her and I said, I said, oh, and let me say it's Janice McKee. Hi, Janice. Uh, I called Janice and I said, Janice, I want my stitches to be little bitty and, and, and closer together. And she said, well, if you want that, you can have it. Just quilt it on the machine. Mm -hmm. So I always got a big kick out of that. Now, the other one that I made, because I made him two quilts just right off the bat. This is just using a panel, and it also had the bear theme. And yes, I still quilted it, but let me show you the back so you can know that no matter how much you do on your first quilt, it will not be quite as good as your latter quilts. So there's you a little bit of information about me and my beginning quilting. This even has a stain on it, but I told my daughter not to worry about it. They were well used and loved. So we're going to have a special uh, program today. We have invited my great granddaughter, Yuna, and Jessica's twins, Eli and Evie. So they're going to be guests on our show today, and we're going to do all about kids. Now, of course, most of our, all of our patterns are going to be from either one of my books or from one of my individual patterns. And we're going to start with this one, which is an adorable baby quilt. This is Topsy Turvy. Now, Topsy Turvy is a precious quilt. I do not have this particular fabric, but it's a great baby quilt. It works perfectly for uh, either girl or boy fabric. So let's lay that one up here. And I'll show you the fabrics that we have selected for this one. It's going to be so cute. All right, we have these cute little animals. And I think one of my favorite ones is the kangaroo that's in the herringbone plaid. Yeah, isn't that cute? And it has kitties and elephants and hippos. So this is just a really precious fabric. This would go in your number one spot. And on this quilt, our number one spot is this square. And it's also the border, the big wide border. And this one's cool. It has a big wide uh, border with actually five different borders on it. The number two fabric is going to be in the background here because it's your lightest fabric. 
And then number three fabric is going to be your um, bind. And it also becomes your little squares here. So let me show you that um, block on this quilt so you can get an idea of what it looks like. This one's called Topsy Turvy. And the reason, oh, let me move it up here where you can get close. The reason we call it Topsy Turvy, it's a super simple pattern. And this is the same block throughout. You've got a square. You've got a little side piece here. And then you've got your two pieces right here. This exact same block is done over and over. And then it just turns. So you've got one going one way. And then just look at it. You can see how we've turned this one around so that the block goes there. All right. So that one is 80. 20797 Cozy Critters. It's the Topsy Turvy pattern, and that is available as an individual. It's also available in the book Quilts for Kids. Okay, the next one that we're going to show you, this one is great. This one is one that you can put together really, really fast, and it's the width of the fabric for your one strip plus a four patch that we do for your second one. It's a row quilt that has become very, very popular. And a lot of people say it's their go-to quilt. If they need a quilt in a hurry for a gift, then they use this one. Now we're out of this baseball fabric. We have other baseball fabric on our website if you want to check that out. And we have this adorable fabric here for our little boys. Our girls that like construction. <laughs> But this will be great because you can put this, uh, the construction work um, vehicles in the big wide block. And then for the secondary fabric or your lightest fabric, that's going to go where the white is. You've got your tools. And then you've got your red in the place of the blue. Well, I think this is adorable. I think it would look great in this particular quilt. And this is 8020796. Work in progress. Checkmate is the pattern. And it is from the book Quilts for Kids. But I think we should get Eli's opinion on this particular quilt. So let's ask Eli what he thinks. I think it's a go. Now the next quilt that we're going to do is Dominique. Dominique is an adorable quilt that lots of people have said they love the way this goes together and that they have a flower here in the center of the block. So you actually make a big block that's been pieced with four different blocks. So I'll show you how that works. We'll put it up here and we have some pieces and parts for you. This particular pattern is from the book Modern Views. And we did uh, originally do this in with a little polka dot in the flower there with a black, um, a black and white polka dot. Now every book has uh, eight quilts. They are all written for a lap quilt, a twin, or a king queen. And we also give you lots of diagrams so you can see how to put it together. All right. So we're going to do some pieces and parts here, and we have this absolutely pretty, pretty little print. So let me show you this fabric. This is going to be so cute. So this is your number one fabric. You have your number two fabric and your number three fabric. So we're going to put this together by using these two in your blocks. And let's show you with this. We have your strip piecing. Oh, that's going to be for your, your sashing. John, let's put this on top of white so they can see it. This is your b basic block. And every block is made the same way. But you do have some made with each of the fabrics. Let's put this one over here. So you make two different kinds of blocks like so. Now we're going to take it over to the quilt and it will go like this. The first one is your number one fabric. The next one is going to be your number two and see how this is the same basic block but we're going to turn that and then 
we're going to again take the same ba basic block we're going to turn that taking the same basic block we're going to turn that all the way around and there you have your four different blocks then you're going to strip piece and John let's show them the strip piecing this is the strip piecing that we're going to do in order to make the sashing so you sew this big piece and this one strip so if you look at it right here and then we cut it off like this look how easy that is so there you have your piece cut from the side and this will go right here and this will go here and this will go here you're going to have this one with another square there so there you have your big block that you've created with four smaller blocks and this gives you an idea about how adorable this fabric is going to be in this particular quilt. Okay, I'm going to let Hannah take that. And we're going to look at the fabric one more time with the number. So we have Blush Meadow. And the number is 8020795. Dominique is from the Modern Views book. And we do have the pattern available in the individual pattern. All right, the next quilt that we're going to do, this one is um, the uh, really cute little cupcake fabric that we had a while back, but this is called nine plus one. You've got one block, and then you have a nine patch right beside that. So we're going to put that one up on the table. And we have some Care Bears. So Care Bears, it is. These are absolutely adorable with the pink and the purple. So we've got our Care Bears that will be in this block. That's going to be your big block. And then we're going to make a nine patch out of fabric number two and fabric number three. So the number two will be where you have this pink and your purple is going to go here because it's going to be your number three. You always compare these, get your um, light and your dark between the two of them, and then that will go into the two and three spot. So this one is 8020794 Care Bear Cuties. Nine plus one is the pattern. It's available as an individual, and it's also available in our book, Three yard quilts for kids. Now I think that we should ask Yuna, my great grandbaby, what she thinks about this quilt. And now we're going to look at another quilt. And this is actually the same quilt pattern. It's a nine plus one, but it just looks so totally different with a different fabric. So you've got your big block and we actually used a, a fabric that had the little squares in it. It's cute. And then we also did the, the uh, nine patch. So this one, let's put it up here. And we have some great fabric. We do not have this fabric, but we do have some great fabric. And again, this is for um, the little ones that would enjoy doing some work around the house. You know, you see all of these little boys that like to tag along behind Daddy with the hammers and the nails and the shovels and things like that. And these are all little kids, and they're doing different kinds of work with the tools. I think that's so cute. That'll go in your biggest block here. And then we're going to make our nine patch out of these two. So your number two fabric is going to go here and your number three fabric will go here. So you've got the yellow and blue. It's 8020793 is your kit number. Daddy and me is the name of the kit. Nine plus one is your free pattern 
Or if you buy three kits, you can get a book free and you might pick quilts for kids because it also includes that pattern. Now the next quilt, this is always a, a favorite. This particular one is great because it has a big 10 inch block and it has um, the sashing on each block is a little different. So you have your focus fabric, your number two fabric, your number three fabric, and you've got this great quilt. And this is great for if you're the kind of people like we did whenever my kids were little. We put them on the floor on a blanket so they could kind of crawl around and um, have a really good time. So we're going to look at some pretty little fabric that we have for this. This one is Sweet Sophia. And Sweet Sophia is such a sweet little Disney princess. With, this is just so cute in the purple. I love it. That would be your big block. So every one of the big blocks would have Sophia. And then you would border one with this light purple. And you would bo border the second one with this purple. And uh, what little girl does not like pink and purple? They are just such popular colors for little girls. Now this one is called Sweet Sophia and it's 8020792 Sweet Times and it's from the book Easy Peasy. So you can either get the book free when you buy three kits or you can take the uh, Sweet Times pattern free when you order the kit. But I think that it's time for you to meet Eli's sister and twin, Evie. And we'll ask Evie what she thinks about this quilt. So aren't babies sweet? So let's look at the next quilt. It's called Park Place. And this is from my book, Fast and Fun. And it has a bordered block. So you have a block, it's bordered. And then we have a four patch over here. Uh, it's so cute. This is Tropical Fish. I do not have these particular fabrics, but um, it gives you an idea about how cute this quilt will turn out whenever you put it together. So we'll put this up here. And we have another absolutely adorable, adorable fabric. This, we've had several pieces from this line, and they're always so popular. This one is called Hop To It. And you can just see these adorable frogs. Aren't those cute? Here's another one down here, and it's got little bumblebees and caterpillars. I mean, no, that's a snail. A snail. <laughs> see if I can get my insects right. Okay, so that's your focus fabric. It's going to be in the big block over here. And we're going to put the, the uh, border around that or the sashing is going to be this cute little yellow print with a little green body. It's an, actually a little butterfly. And then for our third fabric, which would take the place of the blue, we're going to have this green and yellow. Perfect. It's called Hop To It 8020. 791. Park Place is the name of the pattern. It's only available in Fast and Fun, Three Yard Quilt Book. Darn, no, 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 this is Pretty Please. This is Pretty Please pattern is the alternate pattern that you can get if you want an individual pattern. If you want to get the Park Place pattern, you'll need to take the book, Fast and Fun. You can also purchase our books. Our books are $15.99 each. So you can either get one free with three kits or you can purchase it for just $15.99. Okay, this is another one that's been real popular for our baby quilt. It's a nice size. We have people that ask all the time, do we have baby quilts? Most of ours are more like lap quilts, but we have shown you a couple today like Topsy Turvy that's a little bit smaller. It goes together really fast. It has one block here with a bordered block here. And this one I love because it's just made with bright colored uh, fabrics with the polka dots and everything. I fell in love with those big polka dots when I saw them. Okay, this fabric is called Blue Yonder. And if you've got a little boy or a little girl who is enamored with flying, this might be just the quilt for them. And so you'd put this in the, the simple block. And then you would use this in the center where we have the yellow. 
and then it's bordered with this red orange to match the red orange in the planes. So that would go here. So this one is called Blue Yonder. It's 8020515, and it's Square Dance is your pattern. That one is also in the book, Quilts for Kids, or available as an individual. Okay, the next one is called Picture Perfect. And this one, whenever I originally designed it, I did feel like that a lot of people were asking me for blocks that they could embroider in, and I thought this would be a good one for that. Or this one could be if you wanted an alternating block with a print. So this one's another one that's super simple to make. It's got a rectangular block, and then it has the border block on here. Let's put that one up here. We've got some really pretty fabric for that. This one is called Lullaby, and this is really sweet. It's um, a pretty little flower with a blue center and some cute little dots, and then we have the coordinating number. This is the focus. The number two fabric is your dot. And your number three fabric is this wonderful aqua. So they blend very nicely. It would make a very nice um, quilt for your babies to come. 8020790 is your kit number. Lullaby is the name of the kit. And we're using Picture Perfect, which is an individual pattern. And it's also available in the book, Quick and Easy, Three Yard Quilt. The next one that we're going to do is from the uh, So Quick pattern. It has a big 10 inch block and then a four patch here. These are all such super simple patterns for you to make for baby quilts. And this is another one that's a nice size that you could put down on the ground for the babies to uh, play on. So let's bring that one up here and we're going to uh, show you Paw Patrol fabrics. Several years ago when I was at a show, people started coming in and asking me about Paw Patrol and I didn't know what it was because there was that gap in there between having kids, grandkids, and now great-grandkids. I'm going to have to learn them all over again. So this one has your focus fabric as this adorable uh, Paw Patrol fabric. It has the pink for your number two and the purple for your number three. So it is really cute. And this is your number, 801939 is your kit number. Pup Power is the name of the kit. And we're using So Quick as the pattern. And Quilt Favorites is the book. Now, Quilt Favorites is only available as a download. So if you want to take that as your freebie, you can but it is uh, only available as a download. Now, why don't we see how the babies look on this quilt? So we've had a lot of fun today with the quilts and the babies. And so this is the uh, one that we thought was great for boys or girls. So if you're looking for a great baby gift, you've come to the right place. Now, that is more love than most people can handle at once. They are so precious. They are just, I tell you what, those twins, uh, I, they, they stole my heart the first time I met them. And then, of course, Una didn't, I mean, she didn't take too much to make me love her either. It was just great getting to see that baby for the first time. I had pictures of her the very first time I saw her. And now she comes over and I'm so busy playing, I forget to take pictures. So, <laughs> but we're going to do some last chances here. So last chance just simply means we have some adorable quilts that we are low on inventory. So we're bringing that to you to let you know that we only have four of these remaining. So these are kind of like uh, safari kind of animals or zoo animals. Cute, cute. And then you've got your blue as your number two. And you've got this blue and white as your number three. This one is called Zoo Babies. And we're using the town square pattern. This is a great one for the big blocks. And then they're bordered with the other two colors. It comes from the Easy Peasy book. And there are only four of these remaining in inventory. So be sure to check that out. And then we have... Oh, just too cute. This one is adorable rubber duckies. Now, it is a last chance. We only have two of these remaining, but aren't they adorable? Love, love, love these. Then you've got your focus fabric as the duckies. 
Then you've got your number two fabric and your number three fabric. Now with these, the number is 8020788, Rubber Ducky. We're recommending the Pinwheel Plus One. That's a great one for this particular one. You'll have a block of the duckies, and then you'll have a pinwheel with your blue and your green. It's from uh, the Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilt Book, which is a um, downloadable only book. Only two of the duckies remaining, so be sure to check that out and take advantage of those. Now, and you know, we are getting... We are taping or videoing this, this particular video is being made right before Christmas. And I thought maybe we would share with you one of our stocking stuffers that you could actually throw into your cart when you're ordering your um, quilts. This would be great for a little thank you gift for someone that likes to sew. And this is what's so cool. It is a needle threader. I'm going to turn that light on. Can you see it? So it actually lights up so that you can see the eye of your needle and the really tiny little thread threader that's on the end of it. So it's really cute and it has an on-off switch and it would be great for a little quick gift of thank you for someone or for yourself. Because if you're like me, you could use a little help with that threading now. So I hope you enjoyed our babies today. We are truly enjoying them. And we'll see you next time. Donna Robertson, Fabric Cafe. Do you have any pup, 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 pup patrol? <laughs> and I'm like, Paw Patrol. Okay, I wasn't getting that right. Paw Patrol. This one is called Pup, pl no, pup Power. <laughs> you know, it's hard to say that three times fast. Pup Power uh, for Pup Patrol. That's your focus fabric. Oh, we didn't look at the quilt. Let's look at the quilt. Sorry. Do we need to do that one over again? <laughs> Let's do it over again. I'm sorry. Okay, the next quilt. <laughs> We're going to have to do outtakes. Let's start all over again. What do you think about this blanket? Isn't it cute? I wish I'd quit calling it a blanket. <laughs> Let me do that again. Hey, Evie, what do you think about this blanket? <laughs> quilt. Yeah. <laughs> She weevils and she wobbles. She can't get up. Actually, I'm in pretty good shape for an old woman. Don't you think, Evie? <laughs>